Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let's jump right into it. Anyone has an opinion on SD's journal or nibs? Yes. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. If I had more thumbs up, I'd have more thumbs up. I dig the journal or, journal or nib. It's a, it's a stub nib, kind of soft, rounded edge, stub nib. Great performer, great writer. Really dig it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, technology sucks. Eh. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. That could happen. Uh, so yeah, there it is. Good morning. Stream over. We've answered all the questions. That's what we do around here. We in. We're right back out. <laughs> uh, it's a morning. It's been a good morning. Been a busy morning. Still rolling out. Still waking up about five thirty every morning. Get you know. It's, it's happening right now. That's just whatever this thing is that's going on. I guess it's just old age. But that allows me to be productive in the morning, and I've been productive today. So feeling pretty good today. Feeling pretty good today. Right up until um, about 9 o'clock, I decided, yeah, we're streaming at 10, but I don't know what we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about um, – it, it took me a while, about 30 minutes, and I was like uh, – well, we did that black wing audit yesterday, and I was putting away my black wings when the black wings are right next to the retro 51s. I was like, that needs an audit too. Some of these need to go, right? This stuff needs to go. So did you find out what this DC Pincho rumor thing is? I did. I did. It's related to the construction um, and how much of an issue it's going to be and how much um, people are going to be willing to put up with... Uh, construction wise and would it be worthwhile for vendors who draw the short straw so stay tuned uh, stay tuned so that that's where we're at right now so more will be coming but it, it's basically construction hotel related and uh, how it all works and if I remember correctly, you don't know if you draw the short straw until the day of. Well, this time there's supposed to be. There's been communication and ongoing communication, so it's still it's still uh, in process. Feel free to text me, Toasty Treat. Anyone have any fountain pen friendly legal pad recommendations? That is one of the greatest challenges in the stationary world uh, right now. Is legal pad u.s legal size right because that fits certain things it's not a4 and like this top bound perforated thing that fits into other folios and it's got to work well with the fountain pens you can't get that's this is like a pick two out of three situation right legal pad is it's basically a giant it's think of it as a, like an a4 top bound pad but legal size in the u.s um, is a certain dimension. What's up, Clumsy Bad? How are you? Good morning. Hope you're having a good day so far. Happy time zone. So yeah, it's a it's a weird U.S. measurement, paper measurement that it has to be like that. A lot of office products in the U.S. are built around this size, like for storage or for desk use and things like that. But I, I can't even tell you it's not it's bigger than eight and a half by eleven, right? Like that's this US US um, letter size is eight and a half by eleven. But legal is generally longer, maybe thinner, not really, but generally longer. So like eight and a half by all the way up to fourteen. Like they have a big and a half big size called eight and a half by fourteen. Oh, it is eight and a half by fourteen. Okay. So yeah, it's long. It it's it's a weird it's an unnecessary thing. If we could all make it A4, all the things would fit. But why would we want to do that, Chad? Why would we want to participate in universal specs so all your stuff works? I don't know why we'd want to do that at all, Chad. Why, why would we want to do that? So there we go. Yeah, it's the white unicorn in the stationary world, weird and hard to find. The, my best suggestion is just buy whatever Levens you're selling. It's going to be the best paper quality, even though it may not be perfect for fountain pens. You're at least going to get legal size and good paper, maybe not perfect paper. 
So I always thought that the yellow Clairefontaine rodeo pad was a legal pad, so now I have to wonder why the paper is yellow. Yeah. Legal pad tends to direct you towards a dimension of paper. They're generally yellow um, as well. Um, the yellow paper ones are never fountain pen friendly. They're just just not. You have to find someone making a specialty paper with a, like a white-based paper uh, like Levenger does, and then you at least have a chance. You have a, ch you have a chance. Um, but like A4 pads are great, especially like the Clairefont. It would, my life would be so much easier if I could tell you to buy an A4 Rhodia, Rhodia pad for your folios, but I can't because it won't fit. So here we go, getting me off on paper standards, which will always set me off. <clears throat> so there you go. Um, so yeah, we got a box of Retro 51s to go through today. This is what we're gonna do. Pen Addict Opus out for delivery. I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the last batch out by tomorrow. So hopefully, if anyone still has an outstanding order, I should be done tomorrow. We're down. We're down to the last to the last batch. The pastel colors legal pad can be okay with fountain pens. Which brand is that, Tess? Wish the rodeo folio cover wasn't top bound. Yeah, if you can get a nice side bound, what is? You could look at the Bellroy stuff. It's crazy expensive, like Bellroy folios. But I think they fit like A fours. I know they do A five folios. I haven't looked at those in a while. Um, but they're, I mean, but we're talking like 200, 200 plus dollars for just the folio. So unless you have a powerful guillotine to cut an A4 pad down to size, right? Right, right. You have one waiting to, sh waiting to ship. All right. I probably no later than tomorrow, you will get a shipping notification because that needs to be, I need to wrap it up. And, um, I think that's on the schedule for tomorrow afternoon. Could be today. If depending on how things break today, could be today. So that's that. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this mess. I'm staring at it. This is what I'm doing. I'm staring at the tower of pens I have sitting just to my left. Chuckle stuff, 13 months of sub, and good morning. How are you? Hope you're doing well. So the Blackwing audit yesterday was very successful. I limited myself to three remaining sets. If you miss the stream, I will show them to you. Uh somewhere so what I'm gonna do what I'm working on this is all like a precursor to cleaning out the closet of doom right so yesterday I took a look at what I have and this is the one um, this is what I ended up with. So I had all volumes up until, I don't know. I don't know where exactly I stopped. And then I dabbled in a few later editions, like a few more current editions, like the Bruce Lee one, the 19th Amendment one, a few things like that. But I really have, I had a subscription since the beginning. Out of the, what, 20 dozen or so I had, these are the three that I'm keeping. Um, and the rest of them I'm putting up tomorrow. So... When I was thinking about what I was going to stream about today, literally next to that small group of pencils on the shelf was this stash of Retro 51s. We're going to do the same thing, same path, figure out what I'm going to keep, and then what's going on eBay. So that's kind of uh, the idea for now. So let me show y'all. Um, let's see. I'll show y'all what we're dealing with today and we'll kind of go through. There's some cool stuff in here for sure, just like the Black Wings. I had to find a shoe box <laughs> just to carry this stuff in here. I don't have any plastic bins in here right now. They're all kind of full. Has anyone offered you $9,371 for the full set? No, but I would accept that offer if it came in. I'm an inspiration. Well, I got myself in this situation to begin with, right? And it's just a matter of time. Like, I think it's natural to, 
you know, do these types of things. You know, we all kind of have a little bit of a collector mentality or, oh, I need all the things, the FOMO. Oh, I'm going to justify saying that I'm going to use it, right? And then you get down, whoa, we got some hair situations today. And then you get down to it and then all of a sudden you just have stuff, right? And at some point, you got to punt. <laughs> at some point, like, you need to just, like, bite the bullet clear out the stash. That's why I give a lot of stuff away. That's why some of the stuff I'm going to sell, like I have no problem saying, Hey, I'm going to sell this stuff at a profit. Like I have no problem doing that either. Right. Because I really just, it needs to not sit here unused. That's the goal. If it's sitting here unused, then I failed myself. I've spent money incorrectly. It doesn't matter that some of this stuff is now more expensive than I paid for it. Cause you never know that going into it. Right. But it's, and it's not that I made a bad decision when I bought these things. It was, that was the mode that I was in. Now I'm in a different mode where we have to like, we need to back this down a little bit and buy more intentional. Um, and I'm still going to buy Black Wings. I'm still going to buy Retro 51s. Like I'm not getting rid of all this stuff, but I just have too much, right? I am beyond where I need to be in this stuff. So see what we got in this box i don't even know everything that i have in this box some of this stuff is pretty normal basic release stuff and some of this stuff is like super rare exclusive type of stuff um i'm i tend to want to get rid of the rare super exclusive type of stuff since so i don't have to bother uh using it is generally my uh my mantra so smand uh elmwood caveco phone mouse. All right, we're going to go in this one first because I don't know what's in here. Let's get this mouse out of the way. Also, anyone's allergies kick back in in the south? Holy crap. I don't know what's going on. Good morning, friend Besto. I take it you'll be keeping your own PA uh, 51s. This That's going to be a big part of the conversation, um, and I'll go ahead and answer that and say yes, but a lot of those are in this box. I'll, I will use... Those I won't sell for a profit. Those I will do different specific things with. Uh, allergies again? I, I don't get it, yeah? I, I don't get this like today, this week allergy stuff. I'm having a real problem. So, But it's, it's just give me allergies once or twice a year, not once a month. Sorry, digression. All right. Tornado, stealth. Some of these don't have pins in them either. So I probably just need to... All right, I, I really don't know what's in here. Oh, it is literally stealth. Okay, I had no idea I owned this. This is why we're doing this. I had no idea. What is this? Oh, this is... Okay, this is why I didn't know I owned it. This is something we goofed around at Van S. Pens with. <laughs> I had forgotten about this. We were at Van S. Pens one day. And they have a, a laser etching machine. <laughs> I had no idea I owned this. I came home from Van S. Pens and never opened it back up. But this is us goofing around on, <laughs> on their laser etcher. So it really was the stealth tornado. Just the all black tornado. And we put in the Pen Attic logo, the Van S. hashtag, and the Pen Attic hashtag. This is just being dumb. Uh, in the best way possible. <laughs> I had no idea. I, I, this is this is why we're doing this. I had no idea this was even remotely a thing. Like, how, what do we do with this? I know exactly what we do with this. And if you're here in this chat, you know exactly what we're gonna do with this later on. You know exactly what we're gonna do with this pen. This is the perfect pen for y'all. I do not need this pen. I will never, you can't, don't sell this pen. So guess what we do, chat? We give it to y'all. That's why you're here today. We're gonna set that one right there. That's for later. This is gonna be some of the eBay ones. Um, they did a holiday pen for years. Um, they sent it to me for free. These I don't have a problem with selling. Um, because there are collectors of, of this stuff, and I would just rather sell it. Like, there's no marking on it. 
Um, no names, no numbers. Boss Baker Chris, 12 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I, seriously, again, my apologies for all the snorting today. It's just very, very crazy allergies, and I didn't take anything before we started. I am drinking a lot of water, though. So um, this goes into the... To, into the for sale pile. I can't even tell you what year this is. I will have to look this up. There's no markings on this whatsoever. But it, it was a, uh, it was their holiday pin for vendors, retailers, things like that, and customers. So um, th doing this actually has me anxious to make another Retro 51. They just make so, they just make so many right now. Like that's got, has me less interested in doing it, but Toby's allergies are under control because um, he, when we took him to um, to the vet, he got a shot that covers him. Uh, the Smand, Smand is this pen case that sits right here on my desk. That is just super useful. Um, Frederick Douglass, obviously, if you know me, this pen is not in here. This is one that I use regularly. This is kind of my favorite metal smith, most usable um just cool design. I keep it on my desk in my bedroom. So, Cyto Point, I have no idea. Whatever they said is it lasts uh, eight weeks. So, like, he can get one like every eight weeks. There, Schmevelin. Schmevelin going in with the stream giveaway. Let's do it. Let's get this stream started right. Let's get this stream started right. We're giving away the ultra rare, one of a kind, Retro 51. Brad and Mike Van S play around with the laser etcher at Van S pens. You're going to get this pen. The only rule is you're not allowed to sell it. <laughs> I don't care if you use it. I don't care if you give it to someone else. Just don't sell this pen, please. That's the rule. I would appreciate that. Because I didn't pay for it. It was given to me. It was something we did for fun. Let's give it away. Mm. Da, da, da. So we'll call this Retro 51 Stealth. Thank you, Schmevelin, for redeeming your channel points for this early morning giveaway. All right. Exclamation point raffle. And you can win this one of a kind Retro 51. There are five viewers. I had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So this Metal Smith is my first Metal Smith that I've used. It's definitely my favorite. Um, and this is just definitely a keeper. Thank you for being willing to share such a pen. Yeah, like, I just have to do it, right? Like, it's, it's, I, I am fortunate to be able to do this cool stuff, and I want to pass it on to y'all. Like, that's the deal. That is the deal. Just like our Tudira giveaway that you were, um, helped me out with that review. All right, we're going to pop it over here till this review ends. Roosevelt is my go-to Retro 51. I looked out and got one with a deep, sharp texture. Nice. So that is the interesting thing about this Metal Smith. Um, it's textured, but it's smooth, right? It uh, You can barely feel it. It's like, it's like a smooth knurling, if you will. It's almost just kind of like wavy. So I need to put the pins that I have in use where these tubes are empty. Should I chuck this? Should I throw this throw this away these make it so easy to uh these make it so easy to keep right i'll probably just keep them but like i don't ever plan on getting rid of it <clears throat> all right you got about 10 seconds left to enter this raffle let me get a corgi ready smiley corgi guy Great shipping containers, the retro tubes, yeah. Seem to remember you and Mike on the podcast answering Ask TPA about what to do when you get to the bottom of the page and your notebook currently suffering from end of page awkward writing. <laughs> you just, um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I'll just go to the back of the page. I, I, I stopped 
being precious about how things look when I'm writing to a degree, right? Bottom of the page, end of the line, bottom of the page, scratching things out. I just do what feels good at the time. And, you know, if it's just a little bit, I'll crunch it in there. If it's not much, I'll flip it over. I'm trying to be a little freed up in doing that. All right, let's give this pen away. L. Kirby, L. Kirby, us. Recent winner, I believe. Recent winner. I believe, not first time winner. Congratulations on winning this very cool pen. I, I think odds are high we'll be giving away another Retro 51. I don't know what here, um, but who knows. Oh, you were talking about that, like the physical part of it. Yeah, I do what Miss G's Crafty says. If I'm, uh, you're here, you're here, nice. I'll, I will sometimes put my phone, like if I'm out, I'll put my phone under my wrist. Sorry, I, misunder I misread the question. I misunderstood the question. Yeah. So like, I'll, like my phone's with me all the time. A lot of times I will use my, uh, my phone if I need just something like immediate. But otherwise, I'd use another notebook. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. Second time winner. Nice. Nice. So email me at hello at pinac.com and I will send you this wickedly cool Retro 51. All right. Yeah, the phone's not always thick enough, but in a pinch, it works because you might not always have like another notebook handy, but I pretty much always have my phone handy. So I won't hesitate to use it. I have done that plenty of times. All right. Boom. We put this with the rest of the pencil stash. So yesterday's pencil winners, those will ship out probably tomorrow as well. Hey, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being part of the stream. Glad to do it. All right, let's uh, let's do some more. I didn't think that's what was in here. So this is an early prototype of the Sheba. And the reason why we do things like this, and you see the, let's see where it is here, proof here. The reason we do things like this is because sometimes we have to learn about the patterns and how they're going to line up on the pen. So this was a reject, right? So this is a sample I get saying, hey, what do you think? And I say, hey, I think the pattern is out of alignment. Do I have my Shiba in here? I don't have my Shiba in here that I use. So this was a rejected proof of a pen that I collaborated with. Did you ever get a Retro 51 Flare? I don't even know what that one is, to be honest. So, um, yeah. So this is just a reject. So, also probably a good giveaway pen. <laughs> because we have we have the normal Shiba. Like this is we ended up with a, a good pattern here. This is just one of the extras that I had s sitting around. Um these are still available for sale. Probably this is my most used out of the ones that I've made. Um I just love the color. I love the fun. To live in Dyson LA. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So yeah, I, um, let's see what this is, the flare. Oh yeah, that was a cool one. So sorry, I forgot about this one. This is a very cool one. Like, I'm totally into that one. Yeah, very cool. But I'll show you something cool I got too. Um, so yeah, so this is the standard Chiba that I sell. So, um, just one that was sitting around. So the reject Sheba, like I have no need to keep this. So we'll just add this to the uh, ice box of happiness for later. Here's another one. I have several holiday pens. 
Oh yeah, but going back to the Sheba, this is definitely my most used of the ones that I've uh, collaborated on, like by a pretty long shot. I'd say it's this one, then Pink Robots, and then the, the others. So let's see, I can't remember what this one looks like. Oh, this one even has a, a note in here. I probably can't sell this one, huh? <laughs> I should probably keep this one. Brad, thanks for all the kind words and blog posts you have written about us. Have a wonderful holiday season, and we wish you continued success in 2015. The Retro 51. It doesn't even say the Retro 51 team. It just says the Retro 51. So this was a really cool pattern. Saw this in your recommended channels? Nice. You must be a stationary fan and lover. Evan Max Twitch, 37 months. Let's go. In a row? What's up, Evan? Evan, big fan of the Retro 51s. Um, so yeah, I've never used this pen. Um, this is what, 2014 Christmas holiday edition? So... I guess we I guess we have to keep this one. I mean, technically we don't, but I'm not uh, <clears throat> trying not to sell any. <laughs> I got you, Tam Servo. <laughs> <coughs> that is one of my most sought-after holiday pens. This one with the the 2014. Do you know what year this one is? It doesn't have a year on it. Schmevelin with the gifted sub. Thank you so much. That is a good pattern. That is a really good pattern. So somewhere there's, I've seen a, a, a listing of all the holiday ones. Um, try to see if the refill works. Nah, I'll be here all day if I try to test all these refills. <laughs> I just hope none of them are exploded. Um, so yeah, I guess we're keeping this one. It, it, feel, it feels a little more, more personal than than. <laughs> I probably got like a card on, on this one or something like that. All right. This is a good one. I bought a bunch of these. Um, and there might even be more in here. Because when Tyler was playing baseball, my son Tyler was playing baseballs, I'd gift, I'd gift these to the coaches at the end of the year. So I bought a bunch of these. Um, I have one for myself that's in my stash of retros in the closet. Um, but then I had a bunch of extras of these um, because I bought them uh, to give as gifts. So, cool. I probably, I don't know how many of these I bought. Six or seven. So, yeah, it was a neat thing. Uh, I thought it was a fun thing to do. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what to do with these. I guess I'll probably just sell them. So, I need some type of organizational system here. Right now, I don't have that. We got any extra bins in here? We don't have any extra bins. All right. We'll just have to figure this out as we go. <clears throat> All right. This one, I guess we could just leave them here so it looks cooler on the camera. Um, this is, again, one of my personal favorites. This is like, this goes, a, this is a long line with the uh, Frederick Douglass in that it's a uh, personal favorite of mine, the metal smith, and this was a wooden um, surfboard kind of style. It's it's not in here because I use it. Um, one of my first retro 51s that I just fell head over heels in love with. So still one of my most used retro 51s. It feels really, really good. So that stuff stays. This is a keeper. This is one that one of the Joey Feldman art editions, so it has the little print wrapped around here, um, that uh, Van S. Pens did a collaboration with Joey Feldman. There's probably more in here. I didn't buy them all or, or anything, but uh, this is one like I'll keep, I'll keep unwrapped. I mean, I'll keep wrapped up and... Uh, Sometimes I do just collect things like Retro 51s. Like, I'm fine not opening this and using it. I like just having this one. So, like, I, I'm cool with that. All right. What do we got here? I guess I can't have these here because they keep moving. What do we have here? Okay. This was the one 
like that, uh, what was the, the flame a minute ago? I think this was my prototype that I bought at the Dallas Pen Show one year. Or maybe it was given, I think they gave it to me. Yeah. So this one never made it into production. Um, I don't know that it, did it have a name? It's just called Brushed Orange. But it's this real kind of, like, are we going to call this chatoyance? I don't know what we call it. There was a few colors. There was orange and pink. Like, Anna has the pink one. I got the orange one, and I think Mike got a different color. So they give, it's like very, it's like a pearlescent orange. It's got depth to it. Yeah, iridescence, yeah. So it's hard to see it because of the way the light hits it. It's just so cool. But it's hard to show y'all on stream what this is. Yeah, kind of like a tiger's eye. That's probably a good way to put it. But yeah, the light is really hitting it. I don't, what if would my flashlight help? No, that doesn't really help. It just makes it harder for y'all to see. So yeah, this was part of a group that they um, that they gave me, Mike and Anna, uh, one year, or at least me and Anna. I think Anna has the pink one. That's like this. So yeah, keep. There's gonna be a lot of these I keep. So yeah, this one never went into production zeros on the barcode right this pen does not exist that's a basically one of a kind type of prototype situation going on here this is another keeper this is a pen that was found to me by my friend tiff from an old stationery store in the original packaging in this old packaging they used to use. Alan with the gifted sub, thank you so much. So she bought this for me when she found, she basically found these in a drawer at an old stationery store. They let her go poking around. And I think she found a few of these and she sent me this one. Enjoy your gifted sub glyph. So let me see if I can open this up. I've never used this one, but it's textured. So it's a metal barrel. It's heavy. So underneath the orange overlay, you can see the ridges in the metal. So it's a really unique. It's almost like a cutout type of situation going on. So the orange is overlaid over the barrel, right? The orange, you can feel uh, the cutouts there. Um. So I don't know when this was made. It's obviously, it's clearly an older one, right? Old logos. This is before they were numbering everything, um, before they changed their packaging, obviously. Um, yeah, still price tag on it. This is pretty expensive back in the day. I don't know how old this was, but $31.95, that's pretty expensive. Like orange paint that's been etched through, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. So you can see these other ridges. The, there's like a ring around both ends of it here. It goes all the way around here and on this end here. So pretty wild. There were a few different colors of this. It's called Outra Tornado Groove Rider Outrageous Orange, if someone wants to look it up. Tornado Groove Rider Outrageous Orange. If anyone wants to see like what other colors they were, what year it was made. Yeah, the Groove Rider. Maybe a vinyl overlay. Uh, I can't feel ridges under the orange, no. Like the orange is smooth and then the, the silver parts are have grooves in them. So it's a pretty unique, cool pen. We keep this one. This is ending up into more keeper stuff. All right, let's get a bunch of mine out here because this is kind of the next batch we got here. At least I can reach all these. All right. 
So, the original Panatic Retro. This must be the one I have in use. Yeah, the, this is the prototype, no sticker. No sticker on there. This is the one I've been wanting for my display up here. Number one, I knew I had it in here, I just didn't know exactly where it was at the time. So number one, uh, I keep all the number one editions of the ones that I make. So then we have this one. I keep all these. Like I pulled this one um, because it was smashed. Smash Factor. So like this is something I'll use for like a charity giveaway or for like a raffle, right? Something I can like raise money for, something like that. Uh, number 174. So we'll just set that aside. That's one I use. Then we have isometrics. This is one that I've used, number 444. Um, what is this one? 296. I don't know why this is in here. Just randomly sometimes. God, this is such a good pen. Sergeant Story, two months of subbing. Thank you so much. This is a cool one, not only because I love the pattern, but this one glows in the dark, right? This is only, this is a cool glow in the dark model, which I can't show in here with all the lights. You'll have to go find, um, find pictures of it online. I love, this one came out so good. That was such a good, God, I love all these that I made. And then this one, 254, I wonder where's that? 96. So this one again we'll keep and do uh, something. We might give the this one will go into the uh, ice box of happiness. Um, then we have the celebration pin. This was a prototype one. I must be using this one. So this must be the celebration pin that I have in use right now. So I have a lot of these in use or in a different um, tray. Um, I put together a Retro 51 tray on stream a couple weeks ago when I was cleaning things out. Then we have Ye old Pink Robots. The, definitely the most popular one that I've ever done with uh, my friend Hey Matthew's artwork and the Pink Robots. Uh, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots concept, which is just great. And so 321 must be one I'm using. So we're not, we don't have a lot of these for sale yet, which is... Not what I was intending. Um, so yeah, this is one I'll just keep and use. I'll use these to do good later, right? That's like the goal. What can I do good with um, with some of these like really, you know, sought after retro 51s? You know, can I raise money for charity and stuff like that? So that's kind of how I look at a lot of these personal, <clears throat> personal editions like this. All right, then we have this. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Sergeant Story. That's why we will we'll almost certainly add some of these into the into the uh, list. So this is the uh, Bioworks uh, again collaboration with Van S Pens. Uh, my friend Ben Quack at Bioworks. This is the metal barrel one. So there was a metal etched barrel of this one. And then there's an artwork edition, um, painted edition. So I got number 10 on both of these. These we, we are gonna keep, keep sealed up. So these are just cool. This was one of the, this is one of the, the toughest editions of Van S Pens created. I remember the the difficulties in getting the artwork right, but they did it. They did it in the end and it's really cool. Like the Joey Feldman one, it has the print, uh, it has the print around the barrel. Um, so yeah, these are like some of my favorites. I mean, it's done with my friends <clears throat> and you know, the, with Van S Pens and with Joey and Ben. Um, Helping to be part of like the early parts of those. New iWatch, yeah, yeah. I replaced my Apple Watch. I had to. It's another pink robots. I think I just stashed a couple of these, right? Two have come up for sale recently in Slack. Which ones? Hmm. 
So um, yeah, like I I save some of this stuff to to sell later. Pink robots, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, the system. This is one I used. This is the Mike Dudek one. Um, from when he uh, first launched these out. <clears throat> I wound it up wound up with a spare Raven trade. Good morning, Bruce. So this is one I use pretty regularly. So it stays in the in the most used stash. We're definitely ending up with way more keepers than selling so far. Tornado Popper Surfing. This is one I bought um, to go with the other Vintage Surf, but then I've never used it. This one has like kind of the white acrylic looking barrel, white with blue stripes on it. Hey, good morning, Cocolina. So... Yeah, this was just a few years ago, and is like the follow-up to the Vintage Surf one that I have. So, not in the same same series or anything, but it's just kind of a follow-up. This one's a uh, this one's a white barrel one, and then this one is the wood barrel one. So this one will sell. Like I don't need to keep that. There's another holiday edition, 2017. I'm gonna sell all the holiday editions. Sorry, Retro Fifty One. I just I, I'm not gonna use them, and they're they're pretty popular. So that's a real neat neat holiday edition there. <clears throat> cake, cake or pie? Yes, please, uh, Glyph. You are free to ask any questions you want. During we don't have to stay on topic. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to go off the rails, but yes, you are free to ask open questions. Um, so this is the cake or pie edition. Um, obviously, we have a choice. Obviously, Toasty Treat's about to get blocked. So, I mean, you, you all make your own beds. You all make your own decisions. And I will, I will uh, definitely uh, use the band hammer as needed. So, um, yeah, cool one. So we will uh, we will sell that one as well. <laughs> I have enough play balls to so this is my one play ball that I have, obviously. This is this is the Dimitri pencil that I didn't like. We'll sell this one even though it's used. Actually, we'll just give this one away eventually. Um, I love the idea of this pencil. I think it's one of the coolest ones. But I never got along with actual the actual uh, lead in there, so we will uh, that will go into the giveaway bin. With extra leads and extra erasers. Yeah, it's a great one. It's a really great one. Did they do a pin edition of this? Like in this trip down retro fifty one pin land, do you have any in fountain pen versions or all their all roller balls, all roller balls or pencils? And I think I might have one fountain pen laying around somewhere. Did they do a pen one of this one or only pencils? I thought it was funny they made this in pencil since every lab setting I've, uh, I've uh, worked in, it's like no pencils allowed, right? I just think this is just a, such a great looking one. Um, we'll give that one away. The Retro 51 pencils are weird. Yeah, I agree. I think they did a pen one eventually. Um, this was the London Skyline Edition, one of the Gold Spot Special Editions. So that's cool. We'll probably sell this one. Just in the list of things we need, this is not one of them. Although it's cool. I sent one to Mike, though. I did send one to Mike. This was another Van S Artist Series. Um, Kirk Montgomery did these cool um, cartoon style I think there was a color version and a black and white version am I not mistaken thought you saw the periodic pen at the show yeah they may have come and done the, the periodic pen so this is a cool one 
This one we will sell though. I'm not gonna keep this one. Like I gotta make some hard decisions here. <laughs> Another riding around the Christmas tree. This is 2019 Christmas. I'll feel a little guilty selling these, but I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, here's the other Kirk Montgomery one. So yeah, I think one is black and white and one is, so with the art panel. So yeah, we'll sell both of these. Both of these will go on the block. What is this? This might be a fountain pen. Yeah, this is a fountain pen. I think this is the old fountain pen though. What are those? These are uh, pens. So is this a newer one or an older one? This is a newer one. Okay. So this is one of the newer Yovo nibbed uh, fountain pens. Did I review this one? I might have reviewed this one. Anyone keep a running count? What do we need a count of? How many I'm going to sell? <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty broad question, uh, Glyph. Um, yeah, you want to be careful. No, 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 no. It's you. You want to be careful in doing the right thing, right? Um, what I'm thinking is take some pictures. Take some pictures of what you've got, if you can. Take some pictures and kind of. You know, it's hard to say. You could have something, you could have nothing. Like, it could just all be junk, right, honestly. And then, like, I can point you into something, someone that could maybe, like, help you identify some of this stuff. You know what he has? Yeah, but do you know the condition? Okay, it's all modern stuff. Email me, and I'll put you in touch and with someone who can at least give you, like, an idea. Um... The inks are harder. I'd almost be willing to just throw them away. And I know probably some of y'all are freaking out saying that. But really, what do you, what, I mean, use them yourself. Like, use them, your, use the inks yourself. You know, something like that. I, I wouldn't worry about the inks. But figure out what pens they have. And then someone might want to buy the whole thing, you know, or you might want to sell them individually. So yeah, but inks, I, the inks I wouldn't worry too much about. Yeah. You can give those away, use them. But, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're around someone like chat saying like Toasty street saying like drum ghouls or anyone, uh, around any other pin pin places, take them there kind of stuff. Take them to a pin show. <laughs> Unless the inks include Parker, Penman, Sapphire, true. That you could sell for a good amount of money. Seasons Greetings 2016. Correction, it's crazy. It's one of those collections that's like seven Metropolitans, four Vanishing Points, four Suberons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these are actually numbered. This is the only one that I have that's numbered. Yeah, I mean, some of that stuff's probably worth some money if it's in good shape. Even if it's like a regular vanishing point, it's still like worth some money. Is there a club in NYC? There are. There's actually someone in this chat who's in a club in NYC. Well, I guess it's not NYC. It's north. It's uh, more Rochester, but which is not NYC. But in NYC, there's a fountain pen hospital, right? You should be looking at all. You should be looking at the fountain pen hospital if you want to take some stuff to them to get like an assessment of what's going on. I mean, it's hard to have a better resource than that, to be honest. So yeah, 2016 season's greetings. Yeah, shoot me an email if you have want any specifics. Um, if it's modern stuff, I can probably help you out. But yeah, uh, Phil, is there a New York City-ish pin club? 
as opposed to a, a northern New York State pin club that you're aware of. I would definitely look at the Fountain Pen Hospital though. So yeah. Anyway, 26 seasons, 2016 seasons. Greetings. Really cool packaging. I have no idea what this pen looks like, but if it looks like that, it's dope. And there's a big foot on it. Boom. Big Apple Pen Club. Thank you. I knew I was blanking, Tony. Big Apple Pen Club. Something to look at. <laughs> Tornado Popper Lift Off. This was a standard-ish edition, just a regular popper, I guess limited, you know, to like a thousand pins type of set, maybe. So we'll sell this. We Like if I haven't used this by now, um, I'm not going to use it, right? And it's not like a personal pin, like one of these artist series that like I know the people or anything like that. Pin Pineapple Apple Pin Club, nice. So yeah, this one we sell. I don't even know what color this one is. They all of these, all the space ones run together in my mind. So that seasonal retro is more my style. I kind of would like to see what's on the inside of this one, what this looks like on the inside. I'm not gonna though. Yeah, I don't know if I should feel guilty about selling those or not. What do y'all think about the seasonal? All of these seasonal retros were gifts to me, and I, I've obviously I've clearly never used them. What should I do? Should I feel okay selling them? Like they were gifts, right? And no offense, I'm not going to give them away to y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to do a giveaway with them, right? They either need to go back in the storage or I need to sell them, right? So even though they're a gift, y'all would, like I normally don't sell gifts. This is a little bit of a different animal, right? I think that's the way I'm at least justifying it to myself, right? <clears throat> you still feel guilty donate to a charity yeah I do plenty of that and like I, I'll sell some of these other ones like specifically for charity maybe I could just do maybe I will still sell them and then I will list like all the proceeds go to charity maybe that's what we do like still do it on eBay but I'll I'll just mention and like I'll get as much money as I can for them and then I'll donate to a charity for all these I think that's a good idea Save for the St. Jude raffle. I'm going to have other things for the St. Jude raffle. You know, like, that's where we'll do, like, pink robots and stuff. But I think I'll maybe take the proceeds of the holiday ones and donate that to charity. I think that's a good idea. I'll think about it some more. I'm definitely not keeping them. But since they were a gift, I should do something good with them. Right? So I'll do something positive with the holiday ones. This is one of the first retros I bought. The Invader. I remember getting this from Jet Pins back in the day. Yeah, so we'll do something. We'll do something charity driven with the Christmas ones. Maybe even do it closer to Christmas time. Try not to rip this box open. Just so I'm not guilted into feeling guilty about selling something that I didn't pay for. Y'all know my stance generally. I don't do that. All right, let's not destroy this box. They did this, uh, they did this uh, sleeve one at one point. JD Lady, 46 months of subbing. We're almost four years old, JD Lady. Can you believe it? That is crazy. Crazy. I love my Invader and the Fountain Pen one I got from Pen Chalet. Isn't it a good one? Is it, this is such a good one. This is one of those, like, I tell myself I should keep, but I don't use it, right? It should be a keeper, but, like, I'm not going to use it. I'm just not, right? How cool is that? God, it's even got a sticker on it still. We won't take that sticker off. Were these even numbered? at the time they did these this is such a good one but like I'm only going to keep it if I'm going to use it right that's the rules oh that's even got a score up there three eight four oh that's cool but like we only keep it if we're going to use it 
and I, I'm just not gonna use it. It's it's cool. So this was when the packaging was different. It was just this aluminum, aluminum packaging, unnumbered, non-numbered edition, but limited back in the day. Cool box, cool packaging. I really like this one. I really like this one. So this goes into the cell bin. <clears throat> um, this is a little mini guy that was so popular that I wish they'd still make more of. It's a ballpoint um, with a stylus. And it's just so, and it's got like, it's like a little mustache dude. Like it's supposed to be like a little mustache dude in a top hat. Can you see that? It's supposed to be a very proper little guy. I'm glad we're done adding styluses to pins. Facts. This is a great size though. And it had a different refill, a little ballpoint refill in there. What did they call this one? Tornado Touch Black. But it's like, hey, I'm a little top hat guy. A little stash. A little, yeah, a little mustache and a little bowler hat. So we'll sell this one. I mean, it wouldn't. You know what? We'll just give this one away. This goes to the giveaway stash. All right. Last two. These go together. Y'all know what these are? Any guesses? Dapper edition? I think yeah, is that what it's called? Will you be selling them on eBay? Yes. Although I guess I don't have that many to sell. But I do. Anyone know what these are? Pins? Yes, they are pins. Those are the Apple Store Edition Retro 51s. Yep, those these were from the Apple Store, what, I don't know, like five years ago? I forget when. So I've, I've never used them. Uh, but Retro did a collaboration with the Apple Store at the time. Question, does the nib come off the feed of a Levenger 2 True Rider? All nibs come off of all feeds. So I'm going to go with yes, even though I, I can't tell you specifically. So yeah. Um, cool. Hey, Molly, how are you? So these will will sell as well. I think they eventually made an Apple Pencil pencil model, maybe. All right, so that's it, okay? So let me put this stuff back in here and make sure that this is the stuff that's gonna stay in here. All right, so we have empty play ball. Where my where my empties at? We have empty uh, Frederick Douglass. We have empty pink robots. We have empty celebration prototype. I'm giving away the pink robots. I will be, uh, it will be part of the St. Jude raffle uh, this September. We have empty system. We have empty OG pen addict. Is that all the empties? Oh, we have empty vintage surf. All of these pins are in my Retro 51 tray in the closet of doom. All right, and then the keepers. I got gold in these hands here. Where the heck can I buy a number six curse of italic nib? Franklin Christoph. Franklin-Christoph.com. Oh, here's another empty. Empty uh, isometric. That goes here. You have the Frederick Douglass in a fountain pen? I didn't know it came in a fountain pen. That's a really good, really good one. Um, Bioworks we're keeping. Because I got to help work on that with Ben. Uh, is the Joy Feldman we're keeping. 
You can buy, yeah, you can buy. And um, I mean, look at Custom Nib Studio, look at All in the Nib. A lot of them sell pre-ground uh, number six Curse of Italic nibs. Um, you know, any of the nib grinders, nib grinder specifically. Uh, Pastel Sheba. We'll put this one in the giveaway bin as, as well because I still have those for sale. Those are not sold out yet. We have an OG Pen Addict one. We have an OG Isometric one. Those will, All those will be good St. Jude's models. We have this uh, really crazy orange prototype. And then we have this orange uh, sail pen. Sail pen. For sale pen. <clears throat> Retail pen. And then we have the Christmas one with a note to me. I think we keep that one. All right, so those are the keepers. So let's set this aside. So that's what we're keeping. And then what we're selling are the Apple pens, Space Invaders. Oh, the, the fountain pen we're keeping. Um, just because. Then we have the Kirk Montgomery pins we're selling. Um, lift off, surfing, selling, London Skyline, cake. If I haven't used any of these editions, like there's no sense in me keeping them. And we have two play ball editions. And then we have four holiday editions. Let's see. Twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen, twenty nineteen, and un undated. So we'll sell all these, but we'll do this for charity. So we'll do this one separate. I'll figure out something to do specific with this and I'll probably keep it separate. Like I'll list all these on eBay and then I'll do this one so people can have these for the holidays, like more like late in the fall. Anyone know, anyone know where I can get my hands on the original Palomino HBs anymore? Yeah, I sure don't know. All right. I sure don't know. Maybe email Tim Wassum because <laughs> he used to buy them uh, 144 at a time. I believe, and give them out to students. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to sell, and then four Christmas editions. We'll do something additional with, and then we have isometric giveaway pen, periodic table pencil, pastel Sheba standard, a uh, little dapper mini here, and then pastel Sheba. Pro error code prototype uh, Billy Ripken pen. So let's do a giveaway. And the winner of the giveaway can pick one of the Icebox of Happiness pens, okay? So we'll go through them again when the giveaway is going. So let's do this. Let's do this. Where is that emote from, Crochet? That is wild. It's a squirrel with a nib. I I guess it's a squid. Winter muting. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you hanging out. All right. Let's see. The stream scribe. Who is the stream scribe? Should I be following the stream scribe? Retro 51 winner's choice. All right. We're going to do a giveaway. Calligrapher, nice, 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 nice. I need to go follow them. All right, so let's do this giveaway. Giveaway is open. What you're entering to win is your choice of the isometric opened, used, allegedly. I'm not, I'm not counting on, I'm not, I don't know if any of these refills work. I'm assuming they do. So this is a, Number 296, isometric. Then we have the little dapper dude here. We have the periodic table pencil with all the graphite. Um, then we have two pastel Shebas. We have a proof pastel Sheba that has a mistake pattern on it. 
we rejected this one. And then we have a normal pastel Shiba uh, from the production production model Shiba, number 288. All right. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. You don't have to be a follower, subscriber, a member. You just have to be present to win. And I will ship worldwide. And you have to email me your shipping address. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> So please enter and you have a choice of one of these fun pens. We'll leave this camera up for a minute while I, let's see, these go back. And then I'm going to put these with the black wings that I'm going to sell. I'm hoping by the end of June, beginning of July, I'll get all the black wings and retros up for sale. I'll just kind of do them in batches. I'll probably do all the black wings in one shot. And then all the retros separately from that. Man, I've got some cool stuff over here I can't show y'all. What's the one called in the smaller box? The Dapper. It's a Tornado Mini. Tornado Touch. And it uses a ballpoint refill instead of like the rollerball refill that the normal ones use. Orange Palominos are still available? Yes, but they have changed uh, over the years. So there's definitely an older model that people prefer. So that's what uh, they're looking for. <clears throat> All right. Let's pick a winner. And then we'll decide which one you want if you win. All right, pick a winner. Power Belly. Power Belly, have you ever actually won? Power Belly is the winner. Power Belly has been here a long time. Have you ever actually won or are you a Zero Wins Club member? Power Belly. I'm thinking winner. I'm thinking previous winner, but I'm not 100% sure. Takeo Moxie, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Power Belly, you win. Are you a first? Is this a first time? Were you a Zero Wins Club? Powerbelly51 has a 51 in their name. Fix. Totally rigged. Completely rigged. All right, you're going to have to get off this call and pick one of these. Do you have any questions on what you, what we have here, Powerbelly? You got to pick one. So it has super rigged. Powerbelly51 won the Retro 51 giveaway. Mega rigged, if I've ever seen rigged. Just like Coco Lena rigged it yesterday. Was Powerbelly the last one to enter? I don't think so. <laughs> we're going to make Power Belly get off their call. Yes, you were a zero winner. Nice. No more zero wins club for you. Crochet, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate you. I'd say fitting rather than rigged. It's crazy how that happens, huh? The coincidences in this channel are fascinatingly compelling. I agree with that temporarily. All right, get off your call and pick... Pick up. We're gonna we're gonna pressure you to pick a pen live so everyone knows what you picked. We're gonna make you feel the pressure. The pressure of choice. The pressure of choice. Mm. Isometric. Will it be chat the isometric? Will it be the periodic table pencil? Will it be the pastel Sheba? Will it be the dapper mini? Or will it be the Pastel Sheba prototype? Who knew? Who knew? So much pressure. Power belly. Power belly. Get off the phone. Pressure. We're all waiting on you. The stream can't move forward until you pick. Get off the phone. <laughs> That's peer pressure. That's what we're peer pressuring Power Belly into picking. <clears throat> Leave the pencil for you next time.
This call is super inconvenient. Ah. <laughs> I love that we're pressuring Power Belly into this. <laughs> so inconvenient. We're not leaving until Power Belly picks. My schedule is now Power Belly's schedule. <laughs> I love the amount of pressure we're putting on right now. <laughs> Do you mind if I place you on a brief hold? I've got things to do. <laughs> oh, so much pressure. So much pressure. You're... You're back. What the heck is happening? You have to pick which one you want. Out of all of these available retros, you get you have to pick. So you can pick the isometric. You can pick the um, the pencil, the periodic table pencil. You can pick. Sorry, I'm looking at something. You could pick the pastel Sheba. You could pick. Let's do the isometric. Nice. Isometric so good. So good. Yay. So we're doing the isometric. It glows in the dark, which you can't see from here. So we'll assume it's it's working. Yeah. We'll just, just assume that it works. So let's pretend that it's working. So we're gonna do that. Isometric for you. Power belly. Ha ha. Peer pressure works. I am probably using the wrong pen for this. When would I write it in the dark? You say that now, Power Belly. But you're going to be writing in the dark with this isometric pen. I feel it. I feel you test, testing out the, the glow in the darkness of the isometric. Oops. There we go. Power Belly. All right, the rest of these... Rest of these are going into the ice box of happiness for future giveaways. All right. Hey Brad, just wondering how many of the Opus pens went overseas. I don't know, but I could figure it out. Um, a pretty small number. I mean like way less than 10%, I would say. So that would be 20, and eh, maybe 10%, 20 out of 200. I could figure it out though. I will, uh, I will think about uh, sorting that out. I, sh I can tell you, like it wouldn't take me any time to figure out. Was one of those, it's a table of elements pen. It was, except it was a pencil. I'm not planning on any prices. I'm putting these on 99 cents on eBay. So I purposely don't have to set prices. So I'm not setting, if I, if I had set prices for these, I would just sell them directly, but I don't. So it's just gonna be easier to do it that way. So they will, they will sell. How do we find these on eBay? I will let y'all know when I put them up. It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be like imminent, but I'm hoping to do it this month. <laughs> like in the coming weeks. Like I gotta take pictures of everything and write product descriptions for everything. I haven't done I haven't done an eBay, eBay auction in a decade. Like it's not something I do frequently, so I gotta figure all that out, but I'm not gonna like overcomplicate it. Don't lose anything while taking pictures. I'll work on that. All right, I found a bullet journaler we have not rated before. We're gonna wrap it up today. I'm excited about it. I'm like it's cool to like clean house, right? Like I'm okay with that. All right, we found a bullet journaler using the proper tags so I can find them. We're gonna go raid Sienna. They're going through their bullet journal right now. I appreciate y'all hanging out today. 
Let's go see what they're up to. I have a hundred or so to sell. It's the pictures and writing that make me procrastinate. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Frolic, you are definitely one of us. I appreciate you. All right, we'll be back tomorrow, like 10 o'clock. Same time tomorrow. We'll, uh, who knows what we're going to figure out what to sell tomorrow. But uh, we, are, we are in a big uh, house cleaning mode, so you never know. All right, talk to y'all later. Y'all go play nice. New stream, new stream we're rating, so play nice. All right, bye.